Today, I'll be looking at my fitness coach cardio workout. Once you get past the fact that it takes you about as long to say the full title as it does to try out every exercise in it, you'll find it's actually not half bad. For some reason, it doesn't use the me system that the Wii Fit games and Wii Sports do, but I don't know, maybe this was some kind of licensing issue. So instead, it has its own character creation system. As you can see, there's not a lot of options here. Yeah, then you select the trainer, and even though there are six, they're basically alike. They don't particularly look different, apart from about the bodybuilder here. For some reason, they didn't even go and give him a specific voice. He has the same usual voice as the others. Why not a some Schwarzenegger something? And then there's, of course, Brenda here, who I assume is a fan of Siskel and Ebert. Your trainer will stand in front of you and mirror the movements you're supposed to be making, even though you can see yourself, too. A little bit awkward. You choose either to use the nunchuck or dual Wii modes, and that's definitely the pref preferable one that gives you a lot more freedom. You choose the song to train to, and... Most of these are kind of alike, because you basically just need a beat to work out to the rhythm of, but a couple of them are pretty decent. You also choose the location, and it doesn't really matter which one you pick, frankly, because they're really just a static background. So this is the interface of the boxing. Now those rings, that's the hit range. If you do your move before or after, well, if you do it before, you know, it'll count as too early and you won't get a perfect rating on that uh, particular move. If you do it too late, you'll have missed it. The annoying thing is that sometimes it'll read it too soon, like part of the way through the move, and you'll get a good rating when you should have gotten an excellent one. Or it'll miss it entirely, as is often the case with, for example, ducking, where you really have to work out the timing perfectly. Timing is just about everything in this. And I guess that's the reason that there isn't multiplayer to this. It can't properly read your punches. It'll sometimes... You know, if, if you, by accident or intentionally, whatever, do the wrong kind of punch, it might read it as the right one and still give you an excellent rating. I don't know, is, is the technology still not quite there to... I, I would have thought so. After the stat screen, your punches will be added to the punch count, and that's really how you unlock stuff, the higher amount of punches. It's about, I think early on it might be like every 500 punches, but later on it's every 1,000 punches or so. After 12,000 punches, I think, you finally unlock the training. Can somebody explain the logic of that to me, to have the challenge so long before the training? Anyway. That allows you to go f for, to just try out the that particular exercise, not the regular boxing lessons, for anywhere between 1 minute and 99 minutes. I don't know, I haven't actually tried to start one on 99 minutes, but there aren't a lot of physical workouts that sh you should be doing if you're not a pro for 99 minutes straight with no break. You also earn gold, and you can use that to buy stuff in the shop. Including outfits that you can then have your character wear. There really aren't all that many exercises. And frankly, some of them are kind of alike. There are some good exercises. For example, uh, the, the jump rope is pretty fun. The balance board... I, th I think the idea was that you didn't need one to play this, but it frankly almost feels like an afterthought, like halfway through production somebody realized, hey, the balance board is out, we could use this, and they just kind of carelessly threw it in there. The boxing is pretty fun, and you do get a pretty decent workout, though not anywhere near as varied as you would with Wii Fit, because it has a lot more different 
activities geared towards different parts of the body. So, bottom line, is it worth it? Well, maybe not retail, if you can find it on sale somewhere and you want a box, because frankly, neither Wii Fit game really offer a substantial experience in that field. Sure, it's it's fun. Um, it's just it's kind of limited. See you next time.